Hi there, Susan here. I um, promised a few days ago that I was going to share some of what's up with my competition and what they're doing, and it's a wonderful chance to share with you how to research and test what other people are telling you are good markets. You know, there's all this this buzz, oh, it's going to make you a million dollars. Well, maybe, and maybe not. Unless you do your testing, you're not going to know. Unless you're going to do your research and test that research, you're never going to know um, until you've wasted a whole lot of time and money. So, this is Market Samurai. Interestingly enough, this first um, site that sends out a daily email. I've been getting them for a, not quite two months. Um, actually, in poking around on their site, it turns out that their research is in fact coming from Market Samurai. That's this is the tool they're using, um, and they also want to charge you a subscription fee for getting information that is readily available if in Market Samurai. So, um, just so you know. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name names or point fingers. I the point really is you cannot rely on other people to do your research and testing. You need to you need to do it yourself and you need to know what's what, you need to know what your criteria are, and you need to know why. So let's just I'm just gonna run through this. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, I have open already opened a project called Due Diligence. Um, that's normally there would be a keyword up here, but I'm just going to copy and paste a whole bunch of keywords in here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the keyword research. And this is the list of keywords I've gotten so far from these folks. And <clears throat> we add them over here. Add keywords. And click down here, analyze keywords. I don't want this right now. Um, we're just going to go for searches in the SEOT. The SEOT is the traffic you could expect in position one. It's roughly 42% of the total searches. So we are going to analyze these keywords, these 49 keywords, to see what's what. Now, um, currently the 30-day 30, the 30 challenge. The challenge has just started. I'm recording this in the middle of July. And it just started. And the criteria they're using is an SEOT uh, score of 80, which gives us 24 keywords out of the 49 that even meet that criteria. Um, I tend to go to a hundred, at least a hundred. Most internet marketers I'm familiar with are looking at, are using 100. So I go with that. At that we have 20 keywords left, which means 29 of the keywords that were sent out as being million dollar keywords aren't even getting a hundred visitors a day if they're in position one and it's significantly less if they're not in position one so already you can see why you need to be doing this the other thing we want to check is the phrase to broad match I will use what market samurai recommends which is 15 uh, for myself I tend to go higher than that but that's me uh, we'll stick with their criteria and refresh that didn't change anything so the next thing we want is the SEO competition and we will get that for these 20 remaining keywords now for um, 30 day challenge or the challenge criteria um, they're still using an SEO C of 30 which does make it very easy to rank but 
those sorts of sites you're probably not going to make more than a couple of hundred dollars a month. That's great way to learn. Keep it keep it down at that 30. Personally, I like to go up to 100,000, but let's look at both. 30,000. Okay, with the 30,000 criteria, 30,000 cr uh, competing pages, there are only nine possible keywords out of that list of 40, original list of 49. Now with 100,000, we will probably have a few more. We'll have 14, so that added a few. Um, this is the SEO C. These are the number of sites that are competing for this keyword. Actually all of them are under 62,000. So they're, they're all in a really good range. The other thing that I like to look at is the title competition. How many sites actually have the keyword in their title since um, that gets uh, uh, weighted heavily in Google. And I use 10,000. We'll get that. And look at that. That brings us down. When we add that, that brings us down to four possible keywords. That's it. Four possible keywords. Um, Number-wise, we have two, just looking at these, we have two that have really good numbers. I would like to see the phrase to broad match um, higher, but these numbers are really good in terms of competition. Uh, traffic's okay. Now here's the problem with the PBR. I want, to, I want you to look at the phrase match numbers. See how they go down? That's what the PB, PBR filters for. Um, so for phrase match, these are all under 100. They're not even, well, two of them meet the 80 criteria for, for the challenge. The other two do not. Um, we'll go back to broad since that's what's recommended. So here you have the beginning. The other thing I look at are the trends. I still find this odd. I think in doing some research yesterday, I think this was um, this is more a lack of lack of data than anything that Wooden Treehouse would be peaking in November and December. But it warrants more research if that turned out to be a good keyword. So I'm going to stop here and um, come back in video two and show you the next step. This is the first step. We have um, honed that list of 49 keywords that were supposedly all million dollar makers uh, down to four possible keywords. So, see you in the next video.